haven't done a video in about two weeks. <laughs> and uh, we keep getting more and more snow here. We're supposed to get another seven inches. And uh, I've been busy on other projects. Started up another video series there on uh, Goldwing with Peter. And uh, Peter's Goldwing Custom. It's going to be pretty nice when he gets that done. You wait until he gets that all fabricated. That's going to be a nice bike. But I'm going to start on mine. I was waiting for the spark plugs to come in. So I got the new spark plugs. I want to put that in there. And um, I'm going to paint my bike black. It's just too much time to get the, those other covers fixed up or to find two more good covers. And uh, I got the green covers. They're brand new. So I'm going to paint them black. And I ordered the decals from Nor Norville. So they should be in a... 10 days so Peter can get those done and then uh, we can start working on a tank get that done and then I just have to do the wiring and uh, straighten out a few things on that bike will be done so uh, that's my plan of action and, uh, so I'll be doing I'll be firing that bike up and doing the timing leg on it right shortly here next couple days Okay, gonna make a video. I think it's been about three weeks. And uh, I've been waiting for some parts to come in. So I think I have everything I need to uh, finish this bike up. At least carburetor and running and timing wise. Got new spark plugs. Got them, they can go in. And uh, Got a new set of carbs from Greg Marsh Enterprises. We'll try them out, check them out. They came in today. Vintage British motorcycles. Greg can help you out if you need some parts or carbs and stuff like that. What a good guy. Help me out. And uh, I also got some more parts here. Oh, what do I got here? I got some other stuff here too. Oh yeah. I think this is from Taiwan. I'm not sure, but this is uh, uh, a copy amp meter from Taiwan. You know, it says. Lucas made in England and all that. It's identical to the uh, original one, but it's an aftermarket one. So I'm going to I'm going to try that and it comes with a nice clamp uh, to clamp it in behind the uh, inside the headlight shell where the, the the stock one doesn't come with that clamp like that. So we got that to for the wiring to go on. And uh, I got another set of side covers from a guy um, in southern Ontario here, near Smith, Smith Falls, and uh, came with the ignition switch and key, and they're in nice shape, real nice shape. I'm going to get Peter to uh, repaint them. We'll sand it down and repaint them. I got the new uh, the new logos are coming in. Uh, the side covers that I have, they're somebody's hack sawed off parts of the sides on them, so uh, I'm probably going to be selling those. Here's the other side. The only thing is this one's missing the bracket, but I'm going to take that out of one of the beat up side covers. And then I'm going to keep my two new uh, green ones. Just going to keep those until I can get another tank and uh, get the paint to match on the tank. So we're going to get these two redone by Peter. And the tank right shortly. And then also, I've got this really rare tail light. Guys, all kinds of people have offered to buy it off me. Right here, if you can see that in there. But this is an original uh, tail light from, uh, I think, 6970 was the only years they, they made them for the, the uh, S model and the Roadster. And that's the original Metal Flake Silver on there. And the thing is in excellent condition, mint condition. So. I don't know if I'm going to sell that now or box it up, but I found a, 
that same guy in Smith Falls was selling uh, uh, another one here. I think this is off of 71, and it's got the larger cutouts here, 71 or 72, and it's got a broken piece in here. So I can, I'm going to make this, and uh, this will go with the black bike, black side covers, the black tank, and it came with all the it came with all the parts. 45 dollars for this whole tail light assembly came with the reflectors license plate bracket headlight shell everything's there gonna clean that up get that painted get that fixed take this one off so this bike's gonna be all black for right now and because uh, I've, I've got everything for that to, to go black and uh, it, it just the, the silver paint just looks so good with the black hang on to those two new green side covers so I got that to go on, get all those fixed up, but uh, right now I'm going to put those two new carbs in, put the spark plugs in, and uh, get, get back on this bike again. I'm not even going to fire it up anymore, I'm going to put these carbs on, and uh, get going on. So that's what we're going to do right now, let me get started here. Had these carbs off, <laughs> I don't know how many times, four or five times at least, I don't know. And uh, I can't get them right. I believe this, uh, the idle circuit jet on this side has been drilled or something because I can only turn the mixture screw out a quarter of a turn. I can get it to run, doesn't run too bad, but uh, it's running rich on this side. <laughs> First it was running lean on that side. On the right hand side because the idle circuit was plugged solid on that side and I got that cleaned up that side works pretty good now now this side now that I'm balanced I'm getting them set up this one I've only got turned out a quarter of a turn and uh, not even a quarter of a turn just slightly under it and it's it's running rich so I ordered a new set of carbs like I say from uh, Greg Marks Enterprises new set of animals and these are the new and improved carbs, I believe. Oh. Well, I got a, a spare main jet in there, and I got a set of Allen head screws, too. And the washers, the whole works. Mach 1 carburetor, Evo Mach 1, 600-900 series. Let's see what these jets are here. I think, uh, I think Greg said these are the, he put in a set of 180s in case it didn't come with it, but let me check. Much better than my carbs. <laughs> really nice. There's the tickler. So in these ones, you can change the main jet uh, right from the float bowl. A new O-ring in it. Just got to change the cables over. Really nice. There's one there. All right, let me get these old carbs off.
I'll get back to you when I get these carbs off. You see me do that so many times. <laughs> okay. Got the old carbs off. And uh, where are we here? I'm gonna check to see. Uh, nice with the, with the new carbs, you can just check the main jet from uh, the bottom of the float bowl without taking the, taking the bowls off and disturbing the gasket. So, the 1970, and I think most of the models, it's a 180 main jet. But uh, Greg was saying that sometimes they set these up for 220. I don't know, for the 850s or whatever, I don't know. Yeah, this one says uh, 230 main jet. So, that's a little too rich. So this one is a 190. So I'm going to put the 190s in there. It's the 5 sixteenths deep socket. Snug those. And I guess in these carbs too, the uh, the new carbs you can uh, uh, you can change the idle circuit jets. They're not pressed in and and, uh, and uh, welched in there where you can't get them out. Okay, that one's ready. Yeah, I kind of given up working on this bike for the last two or three weeks. I, I can't get motivated, you guys. I just can't. It, it, we've had so much snow, cold, dark, and uh, so many other things going on. I just can't get into it. I know once we get some warm weather, I'm going to be working on this bike 24 hours 7 there to, to, get her, uh, to get it on the road. I know that's what's going to happen. I put it off and put it off. And, And uh, I should have double checked that. Let's just see on here. Yeah, 190. 190. Okay, both 190s. Really hard to get motivated to get over the hump here. You know, I, I, haven't, I just haven't been satisfied with the way this bike ran. You know, I got it running up on two. It ran not too bad, but it fouls out the left plug. It's running too rich. I turned that mixture screw almost all the way in, and it's it's it's, it's not right. The, the carb's not right. But like I said, these carbs were full of water when I got them, and been sitting in water for years. They were seized up solid, and at least I got them freed up enough. Just snug. Freed up enough to uh, run. You know, I got it going, got it running. That's what I wanted to know, but. Uh, I, I hate. I just hate buying new carbs. This is the first new carbs I've ever bought in my life. I've always been able to fix the carbs one way or another, but uh, that idle circuit screwed. Uh, the slides are scored. Um, just too much damage, I guess. So, I'm gonna stick these new ones on. Okay, let me get the, these back on and set up. Got the carbs all back on. Uh, balance them, set the, the idle circuit, um, both coming down at the same time. What I do is I set that screw, the idle, the idle screw, so it's just touching the slide, just on both sides. And then I turn it in one full turn and that should be pretty close to idle. We'll find out tomorrow. We're going to replace these plugs. Uh, 
I don't, there's a couple things about spark plugs you might not know. <laughs> Get my pin in here. This is a squish washer. You can put a torque wrench on it, torque it. But uh, how I do it is uh, I, I tighten it up until it's just touching this washer, just until it stops. And then you can turn it, it's about a quarter of a turn, and you'll feel that squish, that washer there. Something else, too, that uh, it's a trick that the racers all do, but uh, I don't think it matters too much on this head, but flat heads, it makes a big difference. <clears throat> the, the spark plug gap is on this side of the spark plug. So that's right about this point right here. And you can mark that side of the plug. And then when you uh, tighten this in here, did I already lose it? No, right there. Sometimes you have to use three or four plugs, but you want that gap to be pointing to the center of the combustion chamber, not to the outside wall. You want it pointing towards the uh, um, thing. So, you know, there's, there's not much you can do. You can't change it. You could over tighten the plug a little bit. Like, look at this, this thing's pointing right at me, which isn't that great. So let me see here. Whoa. So it's just, it's just, you can feel up spark plugs just bottoming out now, and now it's just like a, a quarter of a turn or... Right there, it just bottoms out, it's so probably a quarter of a turn. And my green, my green line is right here, not quite at the back, but almost pretty close. It'll get a better burn if it's, uh, you know, right into the middle of the combustion chamber. Okay, I'm going to do the other side now. That's it for tonight. I'm not going to fire this bike up tonight. Um, it's getting late. It's about 9.30, I think, 9.30, 10. And uh, so tomorrow, put the gas tank on, fire it up, put the timing light on it, make sure that's set. And uh, hopefully this bike runs perfect. Now that, that should be it. I'm going to retorque the head one more time. And, and then now I can focus on all the little crap here and get the wiring done. I, I just haven't been able to go forward, not because I just haven't been happy with this, the way this bike's running. You know, I, I got it running on two and pretty good, but not good enough. And I'm, I'm hoping those new carbs are going to be the trick. Uh, I'm pretty sure they are. And uh, we'll get this bike all buttoned up so I can get on to the next project. Okay, that's it for tonight, and uh, we'll get this thing going tomorrow.